Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So I got a silk press like let's take this off and see how it is. I got a silk press like four days ago. It actually been a it, tomorrow makes a week. And this is how my hair is looking. Like this is how it's looking. Roots is all sweated out, hair is all Disgusting. I also got it cut. Devastating. Very painful. But, um, yeah, we're going to see if this reverts back and I get some curls back. So, just keep on watching and I'm going to go wash my hair. So, I'm starting off by using just hot water. Like the shampoo I'm using is this. So I'm using this shampoo scalp massager brush thingy magic. I don't even know what it's really called. <laughs> but I feel like it really get my scalp like clean. When I don't use it, I feel like my scalp be mad dirty still. smells like mad heat like seriously usually I will put my hair like four sections and like condition it and detangle it with my Denman brush I love using a Denman brush because I don't know I feel like I get less shedding and like less breakage or anything when I use a Denman brush rather than when I use a comb and I'm too lazy to finger detangle so and usually I would have like clips and like clip it out the way, but I didn't. So I just like put a little braid in there just to get it out the way. Okay, so whenever you're detangling, always make sure that you detangle from ends to roots. You don't want to detangle from roots to ends and bring mad knots. Like the lady that gave me the silk press, she did roots to ends. Got me tight. But anywho, look at them curls baby look at that bounce back baby like my hair is so uneven like oh my god for the curly girls gotta use mad conditioner like a dom size is not gonna be enough for nothing like, I really be ODing with this conditioner. Like, oh my god. But again, I'm just like using a Denman brush and I'm just gonna brush it through my hair again. Cause you wanna make sure that you distribute the product like through all your strands. So that's why I just be like brushing it a lot with this the tangle of thing. At this point, I don't really know if this is like heat damage or not. Because, hold on, let's focus. Let's focus, okay. So, like, this part of my hair has always had a looser texture than every other part of my hair. Do you see? I did it pretty much good. Texture back. Other places. But. Like I said before, I usually have clips, but I don't, so I just didn't want to like put it in twists and then it gets soap on it while I take a shower. So I just put it up in a little bun. Now I'm just gonna go take a shower and I'll come back when it's time to wash it out. Okay, so my hair is officially washed out. And it actually did over the back. Um, the front, yeah, the front is actually right in back too. So it's not damaged up here. It's just a really looser texture, like up here. The back is yeah. good as well. 
Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.